Hi, I'm Donna Miller. I'm going to show you how to make a masculine birthday card using a candle stamp set. If this is your first time to the channel, please consider clicking and subscribing. Don't forget to hit that bell so you don't miss out on anything. So let's get started. I'm using this stamp set from Recollections. It's a birthday stamp set and I find that I really enjoy using the candles on this set. So I'm using my Tim Holtz stamping platform and I'm going to adjust the bottom of the candles with the bottom of the cardstock. And I like using the stamping platform because it makes it easy to do this. I'm using Memento Tuxedo Black ink because I'm going to use alcohol markers and I don't want the ink to bleed. So the best thing of using the Tim Holtz stamping platform is that if it doesn't come out very well or it's not as dark as you want the outline to be, you can just go ahead and restamp in the exact same spot and you're not going to get any of that hairline bleeding or anything. It will be perfect and crisp each and every time. So I'm now going to go ahead and slide this down so that I can do the next row of candles. And what you want to do is not press the lid all the way down, just kind of get it close to where you think you want it to be so that it makes it a little bit easier to adjust where you want your second row of candles to go right beside the first row. So once you have that positioned where you want it to be, go ahead and stamp your next line of candles. Of course, if you had a stamp set that had the candles going all the way across, this would be a lot quicker, but this is what you do when you use what you have. So I'm going to ink that up twice since I inked up the first one twice. You kind of want that outline to match the other one. And so you want to just continue putting candles on there until it goes clear across the rest of your paper. I'm going to show you how I colored the candles. If you do not want to watch this part of the video, feel free to go ahead and skip ahead of the coloring part. But all I'm doing is taking a light blue and I'm just coloring the inside of each of the candles. So I'm taking my lightest shade of yellow and these markers are Spectrum Noir's alcohol markers and this is their CT1 and I'm just coloring around the outside of the candles. So now I'm taking their orange color and I'm going to color the very tip of the candles with this orange color. You may notice now that I have a white piece of paper in behind here and that's because when you're coloring with alcohol markers you really should have a piece of paper in behind there to just absorb all of the extra alcohol from the marker itself. So now I'm taking a little bit darker shade of yellow. This is CT2. And I'm just starting out at that orange and I'm just blending the orange and the yellow together on all of the candles. So I'm using the same technique on all of the candles. So I'm just going to show you how I colored the first one. And I'm taking the darkest color of blue, which is BT4, and I'm just coloring the edges of the candle. So now I'm taking my next lightest shade, which is BT3, and I'm going to color in a little bit further on the candles, leaving the middle of the candle blank. Finally, I'm going to go in with my lightest shade of blue, which is BT1, and I'm going to color in the middle and just blend that across the entire candle. Now for my stripe, I'm going to color it purple. So I'm using the darkest purple that I have. This is LV3. And again, I'm just coloring the edges of the candle. Now my next lightest shade of purple is LV2. And I'm just going to color in just a little bit further from the last one, again, leaving the middle white. So my lightest shade of purple is LV1. And I'm going to go ahead and color in the middle now. So I'm using my art glitter glue and I'm going to glue down this blue mat on the background of my card. I really enjoy matting my cards because I feel like it gives an extra dimension and it really makes the card fronts pop more, I feel like. So for the front of this card, for the sentiment, I just used Cricut Design Space and I just picked out a font that had a writing style and I had the Cricut write on the front of the card. So in order to do this, I used my iPad and I used the snap mat feature on the iPad to get it to write in the spot that I would like it to write in. 
If you don't have an iPad, you probably could use an iPhone if you have an iPhone or even an iPod, but it does unfortunately have to be an Apple product. So thank you so much for joining me today and spending time with me on this card. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please click like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell so you don't miss out on anything.